So hello folks, uh, right, the other day I brought this big electric motor home. That sounds like I bought an electric motor home, doesn't it? No, no, I brought this electric motor home. Okay, but it's taking up the space, so I've got to, got to deal with it. Well, I'm going to take this, this head off. I've already taken three of the bolts off. 19 milli, just left one. Got no doubts this is full of hydraulic oil. Oil? And uh, this is because I was on Scrapping Irish's live stream on Monday and everybody was picking me up because I weren't pronouncing me H's. It's something to do with hooks and a uh, and house. But anyway. <laughs> This has probably got some oil in it. So we're just going to whip this one off. And they're not tight. Already coming apart though, you can see. This is just so I can get some space on my bench. But that's not the only reason I'm showing you this. So, We can give that bit of a, I don't even need to give it a tap do I, it's just come apart as it is. So, what have we got here? Well, we've got an hydraulic pump. Oh, we've got a pump, I'm driven by a motor. And it's got like a flexible joint in there. Okay, and I drive. So let me put that to one side. In that round of it. Hey. Got a Woodruff key in there, held in with an Allen key. So if I can whip that off, I'll keep that with that bell housing and motor, and I'll show you. What I really wanted to show you. <coughs> not too, uh, not too hard. It's only got the one in. Bit of figuring out. So with a tiny bit of persuasion, we got we knock the coupling shaft off and we'll keep the woodruff key, put it in there and we won't lose it. I thought well I call on it, but I thought well go on, I'll carry on stripping it. Only look like 17 milli bolts. I'll whip these out with the impact wrench. Well, you guess, you open it up, and the only one I never put back was a 17 mil. So, out with the toolbox, find a 17 mil. Let's see if this is powerful enough it is it is powerful enough so we'll whip those out easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah. and there we go we're off with that nice little plate for doing something with in the future and oh you can't smell that well, that's certainly burnt windings and I might be going to all this trouble for Chinesium. Let's have a closer look. Alright, so we go. So you can if I can focus on that. Well to be able to see all these burnt ends. Uh, 
so that is well and truly burnt out actually I'm, l I'm lucky really that's that string that goes round it it's not the uh... we have to find out whether it's uh, copper or not don't we it has to be copper it has to be well you can see that it's already copper I know it's There we go. It's copper. Just let me get the rotor out. We spun it round. Uh, see a screw? Check it out. If in doubt, give it a clout. So, aluminium casting. Oh, there she comes. Look at that beauty! Whoa, it stinks of uh, burnt, burnt copper. Uh, can I not? Uh, hello. More than one way to skin a cat. Okay, that to one side. That to one side. We're going to have to split that casing just to get that out, but I will do that at another date. Right, this is the, whilst I'm at it, okay, and this is really the reason I wanted to film this, is on top of this is an oak. Is it an oak or an eye? It's an eye. Okay, there we go. Then I, and we can just stick a piece of something in that and take it off. There we go. Not really fastened in tight. And I'll get to the reason why this in a second. Right. So we got that, and the machine that that was on. That also had an eye in it. Yeah, a bigger eye. So we got that one. And we got that one. That's a fur size eye, isn't it? So, let's talk about it. Right, so that's because, look, although I scrap most of the time, there is part of me that wants to create things. And when I see things like this, I think... I can make something out of these. I don't know what, I don't have the vision. However, I was perusing the YouTube and I came across a channel called uh, Brutus Metal Art. I did tell a few people on Scrapping Irish's stream on Monday and a few people did go over and leave comments. I'm, I'm going to put a link in, uh, in at the bottom. But he takes rings and hooks and chain. And for me, he makes remarkable metal art out of them. So, uh, if you're into metal art, go over to this guy and uh, just check his channel out I'd, I'd appreciate it if you said I Ian, Ian sent you uh, and if you also like metal art there's a guy called Rooster Creations and I've been following him for a number of years and uh, someday I hope to emulate what he makes there's no way I could emulate what uh, uh, this, this guy does Brutus Anyway, that's, 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 that's really it. So the main reason I was saying why I keep bits like this is that uh, I can make some art. More homesteading's got a lot to blame for that. Look at that. They're useless gloves. Got my hands free, but it appears I've got wall paint on. Right, that's a quickie. Ian, trying to work and get his uh, bench cleared. And I'll see you at the weekend with a bit of luck. Take care, everyone. Go over, have a look at his channel.
three volts. As I edit this, I realise some of it might not make sense. So, uh, if you want to, you want it to make sense, go over to Scrapping Irish's channel. Uh, look up Monday's live stream. Skip to one hour twenty-one and watch for the next ten minutes or so. Hilarious. See with a H. Hilarious. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, then this video may make sense to some.